In this video, I'm going to teach you how to bake the best traditional Christmas fruit cake that will wow your family. Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Admirer. This is Kansi here with Sweet Admirer. Sweet Admirer is where we provide our clients with custom made cakes and desserts from scratch. If you are new here, welcome and consider subscribing to my channel. And do not also forget to turn on your notification button so that you know when I put out any new content. Today, I will take you along the baking of my Christmas fruit cake. Last week, we had the soaking of the dry fruits, right? So, it, th this is in series. This, this week, we'll be baking the Christmas fruit cake that will have the um, ingredients, part of the ingredients soaked. So, join me. Look, y'all, I am in the mood. I am in the mood for Christmas. Christmas is a time where you look I love Christmas I love Christmas season Christmas season brings brings back memories memories I mean Christmas season is a time where you want to you want to rekindle your love with your loved ones is a time for vacation right it's a time you want to mingle with your loved ones that you have not seen in a long while you have not seen in years you have not seen in months you have not seen in weeks so this is a time to reflect this is a time of visitation this is a time of vacation this is a time of merry 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 how would you marry without a christmas fruit cake traditional christmas fruit cake right is that possible Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. So you want to make sure you get your traditional Christmas fruit cake ready before Christmas. I am in the mood, y'all. Yeah. I'm rejoicing. I'm excited. I am. You know what? In all of this celebration, excitement, dancing rejoicing rekindling your love with your loved ones a visitation vacation fashion um showing love of all sorts and all sorts of de decoration putting them in order and putting them in place it all boils down to the birth of our lord jesus christ he is the reason for the season he is the reason why I am alive today and I give him praise. A close look at the ingredients. I'm gonna be using my stand mixer, but remember that you can use a hand mixer for this process.
Uh, this is the juice and the zest from the lemon and the orange. I will toss in my butter and my sugar into the mixer and I will start creaming on a medium high speed for five minutes. Y'all, excuse the dance, please. Five minutes is a long wait. I'm trying to ease the stress of having to wait for five minutes. Now let's start adding our eggs one after the other. Oh no, two got in at the same time, but it's all right. It's okay if the mixture looks cuddled, it will all come together. Can you see our soaked fruits? They are all looking plump. This is what you get when you soak your fruits. Now I'll be adding the lemon and the orange juice into the soaked fruits for added flavor and I'll mix thoroughly to evenly distribute. Time for the dry ingredients. Into the flour, I'll be adding the salt, the mix spice, and the lemon and orange zest. And I will also mix thoroughly to evenly distribute. Now I'll be adding my dry ingredients into the mixture and I'll mix on a low speed to fully combine. And I will also be adding the long-awaited flavorful soaked fruits. I will mix on a low speed to fully combine. Now I'll be adding my macadamia nuts and the picking. I will mix on a low speed to fully combine. Look at the excitement on my face. The sight of this fruitcake is worth beholding. This mixture is the bomb. Can you see? Can you see? I'll be adding my parchment pepper. You want to make sure your parchment pepper is as tall as this. This is the right thing to do for the Christmas fruitcake.
I'm also going to be using a baking strip to wrap around my baking pan. And if you don't have a baking strip, you can use a parchment paper to wrap around every part of your baking pan. This is to help avoid the outer part of the cake from cooking before the inside we want to make sure the christmas fruit cake is cooked evenly so make sure to take this step just keep watching to see how i wrapped around my baking uh, pan just one and I wanted to use the two but it wouldn't fit so I decided to go back with the baking uh, pepper so that was what I did to achieve the best for the Christmas fruitcake Thank you. 
Oh my goodness, the cake is finally here and well baked. Look at the beauty of this cake. This cake is truly the traditional Christmas fruit cake. Now this is a finished cake. I think it turned out beautifully well and um, I will leave it on the rack to fully cool down. Then I'll come back next week. Like um, I said, this video is in series. The the third, the part three of this video is gonna be next week, where we'll be feeding it. I hope you like to see where I'm feeding this cake because this cake will be fed until the day of use, which is the Christmas day. So next week I'll show you. I'll show you how to feed this cake and how to store it, how to feed this cake, how to wrap it up and how to store it for as many months or weeks or years as you want. So make sure to check in next week and you see how it goes. So this is our cake. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. This is the cake. I think it turned out beautifully well. Look at it. I think it turned out beautifully well. So I'll show you how to feed it by next week. How to wrap it up and how to store it for as many months as you want, as many weeks as you want, and as many days as you want okay please make sure to leave me a comment like give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see y'all on the other side thanks and god bless